Quick Charge TV's Top 5 Hardest Games of All Time Number 5 Guitar Hero I know there's going to be some people out there saying, How did Guitar Hero make it on this list? These Quick Charge guys are crazy. And to those people, I got two words for you. Expert mode. And if you're a master of this mode in Guitar Hero, then you, my friend, are a god amongst men. Now, I've heard a lot of prudes out there say, Why don't you pick up a real guitar? And to them people, I say, Why don't you? They're just jealous of your sweet guitar skills anyway, so don't even sweat it. Besides, if you found something that makes you feel like Jimi Hendrix while you're in your underwear playing a plastic guitar in your grandma's basement, I say do it. We all know how obscenely hard expert mode is in Guitar Hero, and that is why it kicks off our list at number 5. Number 4. Paperboy. Do you remember this game? It came out back in Nintendo's glory days and it was hard. The unfortunate part is, it was hard during an era when that's all we knew. There was no such thing as easy casual games. Games kicked our butts and we accepted it. You'd think riding a bike and delivering newspapers would be easy, right? Not in this game because everything's an obstacle. You're gonna run into grim reapers, mini tornadoes, skateboarders, break dancers. It's ridiculous. Everything can make you lose a life in this game. I can't believe this game actually made me want to be a paperboy when I was little. It was the coolest back in the day, but in hindsight, this game is pure evil, and that's why it comes in at number four. Number three, Donkey Kong. Just hearing the music and sound effects from this game brings back a ton of memories. But I'm telling you, if you play this game long enough, you're going to have nightmares about rolling barrels. The footage doesn't lie. This game was hard. Before Donkey Kong Country ever came out, this is how we knew Kong. And he was really mean. I mean really mean. Like, this is more than just a case of the Mondays. Donkey Kong followed a familiar paradigm. You're the hero. You have to save the princess from the evil dude. The thing about this iconic game? Very, very hard. And that's why it comes in at number three. Number 2, Battle Toads. You didn't think we forgot about this one, did ya? I think this is a great game to this day, but some of the levels were so hard. The one where you have to shimmy down that giant hole on the rope. Or how about the hovercraft level where things just come out of nowhere and destroy you? This was a two-player game, and one of my favorite memories was if you got frustrated, you could actually kick the crap out of your teammate. I had a lot of mad friends at me back in the day. Ah, the visuals, the sound, the music, the retries upon retries upon retries. That's what I think of when I remember Battletoads, and that's why it's number two. Number one, Ninja Turtles. So one of the main things we've learned in compiling this top five list is that Nintendo, our beloved NES, is one of the most evil systems of all time. In replaying this game, I've discovered what one of the saddest things a gamer can go through is. Take a game that you loved as a child, say Ninja Turtles, play it again present day as the man-child that you are, and then discover that you hate said game. Forget Bebop, Rocksteady, and Shredder. The real super villains of this game are its developers. They should be tried in a court of law for committing crimes against the video game community. The footage ain't lying. Ninja Turtles is number one on our Quick Charge TV Top 5 Hardest Games of All Time. <laughs>